about two weeks ago on my Facebook I posted a graphic that said you can put as much honey on it as you want but the reality is there's medicine in the message of the gospel. I want to talk about this medicine in the gospel. I want to talk about why the gospel that is supposed to promote peace and love and unity with Christ, how can that be so offensive and how can that hurt? So the first part of the quote goes, you can put as much honey on it as you want. So as a Christian, Christ calls us to have all of these godly attributes like love, peace, patience, kindness, all of these things that are like honey to the world. So we can put as much honey on the gospel when we're presenting it and we can say it with so much love and we can carefully choose our words and we can make sure not to be rude or mean and we can just throw all the honey up on the gospel presentation that we want. But like the quote says, there's medicine in the message of the gospel. So why? Why does it still hurt? What is this medicine that Todd Frill is talking about in his quote? So I want to read Ephesians 2, 1 through 3. And you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of our body and mind, we were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. So right here, scripture says, I mean it says it in many other passages too, Romans 1, Romans 7, Galatians 5, so many dispersed throughout the scripture. I'm just going to focus on this one. It says right here that unbelievers are by nature at enmity with God that they want nothing to do with God. They are carrying out the passions and the desires of their flesh in their body and in their mind. And they want nothing to do with the Lord. They want nothing to do with holiness. They want nothing to do with godliness. So whenever we bring that truth to light in a non-believer's life, and we say the honey parts of the gospel, that God is love and God wants to love you and God wants you to love him and Jesus came to pay for our sins. We say these things and it sounds great to the ear, but we have to tell the whole truth of the gospel or it's not the gospel. We have to paint the complete story. We have to also say that you are living in the passions of your flesh that are completely against God, completely against everything that he calls us to be. You are walking and living in your sin moment by moment and day by day. And that hurts, it stings to tell somebody that the God of the universe has a expectation for our lives and you're not meeting it. That you're living for self, you're being your own God, and that God either says, come out of that and come into light and walk in light, or my wrath abides on you. It may be scary to tell somebody who is in their sin that that is completely against God. Jesus came and he didn't just say, I love you and I'm gonna die for you, but he pointed out sinful lives and he said, you have to turn from this. The woman at the well in John 4, after telling her about her whole life and bringing all of her sins to her face, he said, but you can have living water and sin no more. Whenever Jesus presented the gospel, whenever Jesus gave the gift of salvation, he made sure to include not just the honey, but the medicine also. The beautiful part is that even if somebody gets mad, even if somebody gets offended, it's not our job to save anyways. Our job is to be the messenger, to be the ambassador of the gospel, to be the ambassadors for Christ. But it's the Holy Spirit's job to save. It's the Holy Spirit's job to take that offensive medicine and light up their eyes and light up their stony hearts to say, wow, you're right. I need to get rid of my sin. I need Christ. That's not our job. So don't be afraid that somebody may be offended. Do your job, do your part, leave the rest up to the Holy Spirit. He's the one that saves. He's the one that turns stony hearts into hearts of flesh. Our job is just to share the honey and the medicine, the full scope of the gospel. So be encouraged, go into all the world, share the good news, tell everyone every truth about Christ. My name's Hillary Jane, and if you wanna to continue to be encouraged, make sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, everything is It's Hillary Jane. I'm gonna to continue to talk about life and godliness.